Hi, welcome to Minutes with Michelle's Eyebrow Tutorial, and I want to welcome all you ladies and gents, and yes, I said gents, guys do get their eyebrows tailored, they just don't tell anybody. So, I'm so glad that you're joining me this evening. The first thing that you want to do before you even attempt to fill in your eyebrows or draw in your eyebrows, you want to get them tailored. Um, you can go get them waxed. You can get them threaded. You can tweeze them on your own. But waxing and threading are the most effective. If you've never had any of that done and you think, I don't have enough hair to do that, you still probably want to go get it done. Until a person does it, they just don't understand the benefits. Because when the eye makeup is put on above the eye, there's all of the real fine white baby hairs there that disrupt the application of the makeup and the powder and can actually make you look aged because it changes the texture of your skin. So you definitely, definitely want a smooth finish all the way across. You are going to be receiving this beautiful butterfly that I shared in my last video for my drawing and inside this butterfly is going to have your personal kit for your eyebrows. It's all complimentary when you share Friday night, Friday or Saturday. I'm going to do a drawing and one of you is going to be the lucky person for this beautiful butterfly. So again, share, do it now so that you don't forget. Okay, so we are going to get started. I'm going to remove this. This was done with a pomade. So I'm going to do a couple of different finishes for you. And honestly, none is better than the other. It's really a personal preference. Whatever you feel comfortable and using is what you should use. If you have really, really oily, oily skin, I mean really oily, you probably want to use, honestly, a pencil. A pencil that is... Um, water resistant and I do carry those and I'm going to use that so I'm going to take all this off so I removed all of my eyebrow makeup and what I want to tell you is my eyebrows are really really light because my hair is light and I color it that's no secret it's actually like gray it's really gray but I tint my eyebrows Tinted eyebrows are beautiful. So when you go to your hairdresser and she's putting the hair color on your hair, ask her to put it on your eyebrow. Okay, I'm gonna be using a precision brow pencil. Precision brow meaning extremely, extremely thin. Look how thin that is. It allows you to draw fiber looking hairs and you have a lot of control with this pencil. It's also waterproof, smudge proof, love it. I'm going to be using a medium brown. What you're going to want to do is, let me do this side. The base part of your eyebrow should be the thickest part. So you're going to start and you're going to draw your base. And remember, it's going to come all the way over to here. So if you're watching and or your eyebrows stop here, you're going to draw them. So you're not going to just draw a line, a straight line. A lot of ladies go, Choo, please don't do that. You want this to look really, really natural. Precision brow, precision. So you're going to draw these really light strokes. And what I'm going to do is I'm filling in. If you look at my eyebrows, I, I, I actually have bald spots. That just comes with aging. Everybody's eyebrows get really, really thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create hairs in those spaces. And then I'm going to follow along the bottom here because I want the bottom to be defined. I want this to be really defined. And all the way over. This is really hard to do in a tablet and not in a mirror. I'm just telling you, if this turns out great, I'll be excited. And then, so you're going to want to do some work above here. And you're going to just take feather light strip. Now this is the high point, so I kind of come up a little bit. And then this should just come down and be thinner. Okay. 
Okay. You guys got that? All right, that's one way to do it, just using a precision brow pencil. Now, another way to do it would be using a pomade. And I'm going to use this pomade. This is a medium brown and a dark brown. I'm going to be using both of them. This is an angled eyeliner brush. This is my angled eyebrow brush. It's actually a lot thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this lighter and it's going to go into the dark. I want it darker on the end and lighter on the front. So let me, I'm going to start with my medium and I'm just going to dip this in here. Now, much like when I talked to you about the eyeshadow tutorial, wherever you first put your brush is where you're going to get the heaviest application. So you want to start here because you want this a little bit darker anyway. Wow, this is going to be hard. I'm going to fill this in. Just light strokes and take your time. That's what I'm doing. And then once you put the base of the color in down there, you're going to want to feather it out. You're not going to want to dip your brush in again because you want this to look natural. So I always feather this up like this. Now I'm going to stop at the arch because I'm going to dip my brush now in this darker brown. I started with the lighter. I'm going to dip it in the darker brown. And from the arch over, I do want it a little darker. And I might take the darker a little bit more on the bottom. My friend just told me, Amy, Amy Curtis, she says, Michelle, remember, your eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins. And I thought that was the cutest saying ever because everybody has, they're, so, they're so, such sticklers about their eyebrows. They look at them and they say, this is arch more than this one. Well, they're going to grow a certain way and they're very, very hard to make perfect. They're not, they're not supposed to be made completely perfect. Okay, so that's that. It's really, really easy. I guess... Again, it's in, it's really in the tools. You need good tools. It's like a guy with his with his drill press and all of his things. He wants the best of the best. And hey, ladies, we should have the best brushes. So, okay. So that is called an eyebrow fade because you faded it. We went from light into dark, and it doesn't look tacky. I'm gonna I'm going to um, dab this off a little bit because I'm using my light again, and I kind of want to fill this in a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, so we have the pomade on one side, precision brow pencil on the other side. What do you guys think? <laughs> 